academisation is destroying our school and it's soul destroying what's happening and we want our school back, a happy community school. I'm here at St Anne's Church in Chingford where there's a meeting. Staff are desperate to keep their jobs. They don't want to speak out on camera because they're scared. Someone just said to me, it's cutthroat, they're one day, gone the next. Even if you blur our voices, we're too afraid to speak out. And parents, they just don't know the way forward. They want the school to go back to local authority control but there's no mechanism by which to make that happen. I think firstly I became quite worried when the amount of staff started to change over at the end of a school year my son was asked to destroy his work. He was so upset in fact he couldn't actually do it and he actually asked one of his friends to rip the work up and put it in the bin himself. We wondered why that was the case. All the blame went on to staff but what transpired later on was that this decision had gone down through the school to the classes who'd had lots and lots of teachers that year. So the work was seemingly destroyed to cover up inconsistencies in the work um, before Ofsted would come around. I would like the school to go back to local authority. Now we're being rebrokered. We as parents are having no say in it and I'm worried this will go to another academy. The funding will be cut, cut, cut. The children will start to leave more and more and I'm worried that the school will turn into flat. I live right near the school and I want to hear that school bell ring when I'm in my garden. I want to hear the children playing in the playground. But if it's taken away, the children in the school will, will suffer and the community because there will be no primary school left and that saddens me a lot.